Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you a customer trailer that just arrived. This is going to be a 2022 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck with the closet tag. So we'll go ahead and get started and just walk through the trailer. So up here on the front, we've got our adjustable coupler. So we're able to put this up and down and make sure that you're riding as level as possible on your tow vehicle. And that way you're not stressing any axles or anything like that. So really nice to have. Um, then our battery breakaway, our safety chains. And then this one, we've got it plugged into our battery box so you can see the lights and how they operate. So in order to run lights on this one, you either gotta be plugged into the tow vehicle or have an external battery source. And then up underneath, you'll see the spare tire and then our manual crank jack. So something I wanna point out right away, you'll see in this corner right here, um, the latch that this door is on. So all doors are gonna be, or have that latch and have that capability of holding them open. And I'm telling you, when that wind is whipping, which we know around here in Colorado lately, it's been going pretty crazy. Um, being able to latch those open just helps out big time with the overall use and then you're not getting hit in the back of the legs while you're trying to walk in the tack room or something. Um, so closet tack on this one, we consider this a closet tack because it's separate from the dressing room. So front dressing room entrance and then the closet tack, kind of keep that separation a little more between horse tack, sweatiness, everything like that from your show clothes if you're going showing or if you want to use it as like a weekend camp trip, something like that. You just can have that separation and it just helps out big time. But we'll hop right up in here into the dressing room. So carpeted um, deck and wall on the front. So be able to slide stuff up there if you gotta have storage, anything like that. Um, able to do that easily. And then down here we have the full width boot box. So this opens up and has storage underneath. So this doubles as a storage underneath, a seat to sit on, and then also a step to get up into that gooseneck area. So really nice to have. And then up here, this trailer, we did brace and pre-wire for an AC unit. So down the road, if this customer decides she wants to put in an AC unit, they've already got everything right there. And that way it's super simple to get up in there and be able to install it for them. So over here in this corner, swap spots real quick, you'll see that it's just an extra space. So we put a shelf in there that shelf's got a little lip to it too, so hopefully stuff isn't gonna be falling out when you're driving, braking, and you know accelerating and stuff. But then you just have extra storage space. So having that extra storage space, you know, you could pile up some buckets, some containers full of tack, extra tack, because who doesn't have extra tack everywhere? <laughs> but just nice to have. And then right here on this wall, we do have the carpet below the bridle hooks. So getting that carpet below the bridle hooks is gonna help alleviate that swishing and swaying and um, the damage that it'll eventually do as you're going down the road. So over here on the tack door, once again, on one of those latches, so not gonna be blown shut on you, but you've got the swing out blanket pull. So that swings out super easy and that just makes it 10 times easier if you're trying to grab a blanket from the middle or if you're trying to lay your pads on there. Just being able to get that extra space right there helps out big time. Down below we've got the brush box. So me personally, I always keep my stuff that I use pretty often in there. So, you know, brushes, hoof pick, uh, fly spray, stuff like that. And that way I'm not having to dig through my tack room to find it. And then up here in the tack room, we've got our four tier saddle rack and those are adjustable and we can add more to that. So if you add multiple saddles, more saddles and horses, um, stuff like that, we could definitely get you some more tiers there. And then up in there, you'll also see the um, bridle hooks with the carpet behind them as well in there. And then up on the roof, we do have the roof vent in there. So that helped get some airflow, get you know ventilation going through. Over in the corner, we've got a 35 gallon water tank. So be able to take some extra water with you if you're going on the road. Um, I always just like to have a little bit in case you're stuck on the side and helps a few hours away, you at least have water to offer to the horses or dogs, animals that you have with you. 
And then I don't know if you noticed on this one, we do have these steps. So these are each individual based on the door, but having that step, I don't know if you see how much extra space it's giving us right there, um, lower to the ground, be able to step up in there with ease and not have to jump <laughs> up into the trailer. So coming over here on the hip side of the trailer, we've got our bus windows. So these open up part way all the way down so you can kind of pick and choose how much airflow you want going through the trailer. And then we've got four ties as well. Up above you will see an LED light. So that's a 16 inch light. Those I'm telling you in the dark, they are so bright. It is so nice to have if you've got to utilize your trailer in the dark, just having the light to be able to see helps out big time. And then down below, we've got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. So those are nitrogen filled tires as well. So Cimarron trailers are gonna be an all aluminum construction. So you're getting one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with a center every four inches. And then you're also getting your half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And that actually has an R3 thermal value on it. So, you know, more heat regulating, so warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. And then it's also um, dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So it's just really nice to have. And especially here on the front range, we've been good the last couple years, but previous to that, we had hail, hail season is what we call it. But on the rear here, we've got our 6040 door opening. So this one you'll see is a little bit smaller than our other door. So that way, if you wanted to shut this one and not worry about opening it up, you still have a bigger door on this other side, especially your seasoned haulers, your horses that are used to just hopping and going, they're gonna be totally fine and comfortable hopping up in here. So up here in the trailer, Right off the bat, we do have our butt bar that comes across, or butt strap, sorry. So that's gonna help prevent this last horse, if you've got it tied, opening this back door, is gonna help prevent it from backing out and potentially causing an accident if it is tied up. Um, so then you can be able to, you know, get it unlatched real quick and get it off to the side and get that horse in here. So right off the bat, you'll see dividers. We've got our pads on each side. So the pads come in handy big time for folks with the lighter colored horses. So your paints, your palominos, your grays, um, horses that just have that white or lighter color to them. When they get to rubbing against this aluminum, it will start to discolor them. And then they get off the trailer to go show and you got a discolored hip on a horse. So having the help or having the pad is going to help alleviate some of that. And then just overall comfort for the horse as well when they're leaning stopping and accelerating they're going to lean against these pads and you know a little more comfort for them so we got a stud stall in that first one so that goes all the way down to the floor um, those come in handy big time when you've got horses that like to step on others while you're driving um, so I always put that that horse that likes to step on others trying to brace themselves in that first stall and that way they're not stepping on their friends and injuring another horse so I don't know if you just saw how that latch worked. Super, super simple to latch it. So all you gotta do is just push in and it grabs. So I know I've got a couple young horses and I actually bought myself a Cimarron because I just like the trailer so much. Um, but what I have to do, I have to push the one over and push it in. And I have to kind of put my weight against her until she gets more comfortable getting into the trailer. So being able to just push it with my hip and get it over is just makes the ease of use that much better. So above each um, stall, you're gonna have your light on the right hand side. So those are OptiBright LED lights. So those are super, super bright. And that's gonna help with the comfort of you and your horse if you're trying to load or unload in the dark, just having those bright, bright lights to, to light up helps big time. And then up above in the stalls, you're gonna have roof vents. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push back. So you get them pushed forward, they're gonna help draw that air in, and then you push them back, they're gonna help draw that air back out. So I usually do, I would do like the first two forward in this one or the first three forward, and then this last one back, make sure these back windows are open 
get that maximum airflow going over their backs when it's super hot out and that'll help keep them comfortable and happier to hop in a trailer and go for a ride. So we do have an LED light, load light up above too. Um, that way you can see a little bit better in the dark loading and unloading there as well. So over here on the head side of the trailer, we've got our four drop downs with the jail bars. And these jail bars are super easy to maneuver. So all you gotta do is lift up just a little and that pulls down. So being able to do that, I find it very helpful when you're going on the longer trips and you make a pit stop and wanna check on the horses, make sure they have feed, make sure they offer them water or something like that. Um, you're able to just drop that down and come from the side rail right here instead of having to come through the back of the trailer, risk a horse getting out and something bad happening because who wants that? But a super simple operation. And then these pop into place. I don't know if you heard that. Um, so that is going to help when you're driving down the road. Those aren't going to be sitting there slapping against the trailer. They're going to be staying in place. And then each window is equipped with this bus window as well. So if you're hauling in the winter, I always tend to open these up instead just to make sure I'm still getting that airflow going through the trailer and getting that ventilation for them, but not making them cold or anything. And then right here, we do have the escape door. So escape door, escape door to that first stall, and that's also the stud stall. So me personally, since I only currently have three horses, um, I would use this first stall as more of a storage stall for me. So, you know, you could put hay in there, you could put your shavings, um, grain, you could do anything really you want to do, just having that extra storage space. And then having the stud stall right here is going to help prevent anything from rolling back underneath the horse's legs. So that comes in handy big time. And then you do have the chest bar. Um, this chest bar, if you know, you do load a horse up in here and you do have to use this escape door, it's going to help prevent that horse from trying to jump out behind you. And then it's equipped with these little um, D-rings so that you are able to put a triangle feed bag in there if you would like so. So then that escape door does have a drop down on it as well. So again, latch back. So I will shut this up real quick. So one thing I really like about this operation, it's got two latches. So you've got the one that opens the door with the key and then you've got the butterfly latch that comes over top too to make sure that door is not opening up on you and it's gonna stay shut. But then you got drop down in the bus window for that one as well. So exterior color is gonna be a charcoal metallic. In this trailer, we're sitting at seven one tall, we're sitting at six ten wide, and then we have an on the floor length of 17 feet, six inches. So, and one more thing I did want to point out real quick that we did to this trailer. Um, we've been ordering inventory in this way and it seems customers are really starting to like it too. Um, but we're doing the 53 inch drop. So that is from here down to the floor of the trailer. So that's gonna give you some extra room between the truck bed and the top of the trailer. So the newer trucks, I know they're getting taller and taller as the years go by. And so we're helping accommodate for that a little bit to give you that extra wiggle room and that extra play to get over those bigger bumps and stuff like that. So really nice to have too. But we've got a stock number of 5N211889. Again, that's 5N211889. This is a 2022 Cimarron Northstar four horse gooseneck with the closet tack. So if you guys have questions, this trailer, any other trailer on our website, or if you're looking to build one, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone. That one's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone. That's 303-684-3451. Or shoot me an email at Morgan, and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L, -L, at transwest.com. Uh, click the link below to see this trailer on our inventory or to view our newer used inventory. It'll take you to our website. Um, but yeah, reach out if you have any questions. I look forward to doing business with Wow, I look forward to doing business with you and look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.